Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of the pathophysiology of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a highly debilitating psychological condition characterised by continuous episodes of psychosis. The symptoms can be split into three categories. Positive symptoms include hallucinations, delusions and abnormal behaviour. Negative symptoms include social withdrawal, avolition and flattened emotions. And cognitive symptoms include attention deficits and lapses in executive function. One theory behind the cause of these symptoms is the dopamine hypothesis. This states that the positive symptoms are produced by dopamine hyperactivity in the mesolimbic pathway and that negative and cognitive symptoms are produced by dopamine hypoactivity in the mesocortical pathway. So if we look at these pathways in healthy brains, glutamatergic neurons project to GABAergic interneurons. These release GABA, an inhibitory neurotransmitter, to the ventral tegmental area. This decreases the firing of dopaminergic neurons in the mesolimbic pathway. Cortical glutamatergic neurons also project to the ventral tegmental area directly, increasing the firing of dopaminergic neurons in the mesocortical pathway. But what is it that causes this firing to increase in the mesolimbic pathway and decrease in the mesocortical pathway? The answer lies in the glutamate hypothesis. This states that the dopamine abnormalities observed in schizophrenia are caused by NMDA receptor hypofunction. Let's take a look at what this would look like. If the NMDA glutamate receptors are reduced, inhibitory interneurons can no longer inhibit the firing of dopaminergic neurons in the mesolimbic pathway, which becomes disinhibited, leading to the dopamine hyperactivity as described in the dopamine hypothesis. Additionally, this would mean dopaminergic neurons in the mesocortical pathway cannot be activated by cortical neurons and therefore producing dopamine hypofunction, also as described in the dopamine hypothesis. The positive and negative and cognitive symptoms observed in schizophrenia are produced by dopamine hyperactivity in the mesolimbic pathway and dopamine hypoactivity in the mesocortical pathway respectively, both of which are caused by NMDA receptor hypofunction. The vast majority of drugs used to treat schizophrenia are based on these pathways, which I'll discuss in my next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.